Hi there. First of all, I'd like to thank everybody for the uh, suggestions in relation to uh, how to support the bass play in the um, pedestal. Uh, so that's given me some really good ideas. And uh, I've, I've decided on a, a particular design, so I've set, sent off for some bits and pieces. And hopefully in a future video, I'll show you uh, what I've decided upon. But anyway, in this video, what I'm going to do is machine the main bearings for the Stuart half beam. So from the information supplied it appears that these um, bearings are made out of brass and they come in two pieces, a top half and a bottom half. Now looking at them it looks like there's a lot of work to be done with a hand file. So what I'll do is I'll tidy them up off camera and then I'll get back to you. Okay so they've tidied up reasonably well and what I need to do first of all is machine the faces of the top and the bottom. Now the distance between this edge here and that edge there needs to end up at 3 eighths of an inch. And if I measure it, it comes in about point four four zero. So if I take 3 eighths of an inch off that I get to 65 thou. So what I'm going to do first of all is take 30 thou off, off this face here and I'll repeat the same process on the other one. Okay, so I've decided to put a decent finish on it with this uh, 16 millimeter end mill. Ok so I'm going to use exactly the same process for the bottom of the bearings and uh, again I'll take round about 30 thou off. Well they've worked out okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put that in the milling vise on parallels I'm going to machine 40 thou off the bottom and once I've machined 40 thou off I'll make a note of that position on the DRO then I'll take that out, I'll put that on the parallels and I'll machine down to the point where I got to on, on this one if that makes sense but I'll do all that off camera. Well they're looking pretty good. So what I need to do now is to super glue the tops to the bottoms 
and then put one of them in the four jaw chuck on the lathe and start the machining. Well the super gluing went okay but when I um, started to put this in the four jaw chuck I realised that these edges hadn't been machined so I just need to put it in the um, milling vise again and just skim off that edge and the bottom and that edge and the bottom. So I'm taking very light cuts and I'm just taking five thou at a time off the edge until it's uh, nice and flat. And then I'll do the same on the bottom bit. Okay, so I think I've centred it as close as possible and to make life uh, a little bit easier I used some double sided sticky tape to attach the packing to the bearing. So the first thing I need to do is to uh, face off this end here. Okay, so I've reduced this boss down to uh, an eighth of an inch and uh, now it's just a matter of um, centre drilling. Uh, drilling up to 27 sixty-fourths of an inch and then reaming 7 sixteenths.
So this is a 716th reamer and I'll run the lathe at uh, 250. Well, that looks okay, but unfortunately it's a total disaster. The centre of the hole is way off, and uh, initially I thought that the drill might have wandered off, but if I put the square on here, there's a massive gap there. So I've obviously not clocked it right in the four jaw chuck. So uh, I'm not too sure whether I can rescue that situation uh, but what, what I'll try and do is I'll put it in a mandrel and see if I can uh, sort of square it all up. So I've just super glued it onto this mandrel. So now I'm just going to uh, drill and tap the holes for the 5BA bolts. So this is the tapping drill bit which is 2.7mm uh, in diameter. I'll go to a depth of around about 13mm. Um, then I'll open the top up uh, with uh, a 5BA clear 3.3mm uh, drill bit and then I'll uh, use a tap to tap the threads in the uh, bottom end of the bearing. So I'm just going to take a few thou off the base just to make sure it's nice and perpendicular with the sides. I think I managed to recover the situation. Um, I've just put a bar through the uh, bearing and it's spot on so I'm, I'm happy with that. Um, unfortunately the only negative thing is the width of the bearing is slightly narrower than specification. But anyway I'll uh, carry on 
and uh, finish off the other bearing and hopefully this time I'll be able to uh, clock it properly on the lathe. But I'll, I'll do it all off camera because it's the, exactly the same process as the other one. Well this is my second attempt and I was thinking about trying to use a boring bar um, but the hole was just too small. But anyway, I'm really happy with the way it's turned out. So I'll uh, finish the machining off and uh, I'll get back to you. Well I must say I found that really challenging um, and I found it quite difficult um, getting things uh, positioned correctly in the four jaw chuck. Um, and I think that's where I really went wrong with my, my first attempt. And uh, I also suspect that when I drilled the hole uh, initially on the first one, I used a fairly small diameter drill bit and I'm guessing that might have sort of wandered off a little bit. So that might have contributed to the problems. So if anybody's any ideas about, you know, how best to drill something like that, I'd be really interested. I don't, I don't know if they do any short stubby drills, that, that might be the answer. But certainly I couldn't get a boring bar in there. Um, and also the, those castings, um, they weren't perfect. And the dimensions were so close to what the dimensions are on the drawing, it was pretty much impossible to machine them to drawing size. Um, but anyway, in the end, I, th I think uh, I got them pretty close, uh, so fingers crossed we'll be okay. Um, now what I haven't done, I've not drilled uh, the holes for the oilers, because I wasn't too sure what type of oilers to get, so if anybody has any sort of suggestions on that, I'd be really uh, pleased to uh, hear from you. Uh, but anyway, um, I hope you like the results so far and uh, I hope to see you later.